Good morning. How are all of you doing? I hope you're doing great. I am here with some of the supplies that we will need for today's exploration. Today we are going to be making cars just like that to explore wheels and axles. Now on the Google Classroom you can find a link that uh, links to how to make a car like this with gumballs. I didn't make my car with gumballs because we don't have any in the house. So I had to think about what else would roll and what else I could make like a wheel and axle. What, what else could I use? And we did have some buttons, so I decided to use buttons. But because the buttons, we didn't have any buttons with a hole right in the middle, and I want to reuse the buttons after, I had to use two toothpicks inside. Because I needed two toothpicks, I had to use a larger straw to go inside, and not the normal straw that I was planning to because this is too small for both of the toothpicks to fit inside and for the wheel and axle to still roll. So this is my design for my very own uh, clip car. Clothespin, my clothespin car. <laughs> it took me a little while to remember the name. Um, and so this will work quite well for making the car. I'm going to go over the steps in just a little bit and I'll go ahead and show you um, how I make mine. And after that, you can do some experiments to see how well yours rolls. Now, if yours doesn't roll all that well, I'd like for, for you to be, uh, become an engineer, put that engineering cap on, and think about how you can change it to make it even better. For mine, I would probably add maybe a little bit of hot glue in order to make it work just a little bit better, roll a little bit straighter, and I might make a few more changes. Today, our question for the day is how will a car roll in on different surfaces and I want you to think about what might be stopping a car from rolling on different surfaces or if it rolls further on one surface uh, compared to another one why that is okay but before we go there I have gotten some wheels and axles right here and here is one wheel and axle. I think this is a toy car. I'm going to go ahead and put this wheel and axle inside my simple machine box. So it's going inside there. I, and I found two others. This is a little sports car and it actually rolls quite well. I think it has a little motor you can pull to have that roll. That's going to be a lot of fun during this unit. So I'm going to drop that. Ooh, it's going sideways in as well and we have a half-built lego car with the wheels and the axles on the side so i will drop that into here as well as we go through learning about the simple machines this week we're going to be adding more simple machines into this car and in the following week it will be very useful for us so keep on putting your simple machines inside and uh, all the boxes are looking great all the boxes are looking great so we're going to go ahead and switch to a um, video on how to assemble the cars in just one second to assemble the car you will need a few different items you can see that we will need four different buttons that should be the same size for each set of wheels. Um, for this, we would need four toothpicks as well, one paper clip, some tape to adhere it to. If I had a little bit of hot glue that I put on, uh, then that might make it last a little bit longer, make it a bit more secure. So that's something that you can think about. Now, I had a different size of paper, of, um, clothespin and I wanted to see if the different clothespin might have a different reaction 
This one is a lot, quite a bit stronger. So as it pinches, it's gonna pinch a lot firmer, which wouldn't be very good for the straw because it doesn't have that much thickness. So I'm going to, when I put this in, also put a little bit of tape around the side so that the uh, force with which this clothespin closes doesn't stop the toothpicks from spinning around, which the toothpicks are the axle. So if the axle can't spin around, then the wheel and axle doesn't work. Okay, so this is the thickness that I had for my clothespins and, or for the tubes that the wheel and axle goes through. So I'm gonna just try to make it about the same and just eyeball it right about here and ooh, the straw goes flying okay so we're ready to go ahead and put a little bit of tape on it and if i use stronger tape then it would be a little bit stronger but that's okay i just want to make sure it holds for a little bit little experiment i'm not going to be racing it with anyone there we go okay that seems to be holding well so I need to take two buttons that are the same and let's make it look really schnazzy and make sure that they're exactly the same buttons okay here is one and these two together are my axle which I will slip through here and that doesn't look like it's crimping I'll put it right in through here Place the other wheel onto this and there we go we can see that it spins around and it's rolling well okay good so now we're going to take this other straw I need to get two toothpicks slip it through and then put two wheels on and those don't quite match so let's see if we can find some that do look here we go nice we got the same pattern that's okay if you want yours to be different if you want yours to look some other way go ahead and make it how you want it to be if you want to paint your tooth your toothpicks if you want to paint your clothespin if you want to use different colored tape if you have it Please do so. Make this your own work of art. Okay, now I'm ready to tape the wheel and axle onto the back and I can test it. It's spinning quite well. Just gonna get a little bit of tape and tape it like this. You can choose what tape you want to use. And I'm gonna try to get it as straight as possible. Since that looks pretty good to me. And one longer piece of tape to wrap around. Good. Now, if you don't have gumballs at home, if you don't have buttons at home, think about something else that would roll round and you can use that to make your very own functioning wheel and axle okay so it doesn't have to be the materials that I have used here but what I want to do is I want to see that you are thinking about it and there are always so many different ways for wheels to move and these are oh that is an accident that's what that is um, so you should be able to find something um, around your house now if I used so a little bit of hot glue that might make these stick a little bit better and keep my buttons straighter but you can see hmm is this too tight this one isn't really really rolling all that well i'll put a little bit more tape on that to open it up and hopefully this one will roll as well there we go okay and there is my first one so here are my two wheel and axle cars i'm going to go ahead and add those to my box as well with my other 
wheel as wheels and axles here. Please go ahead and show me your work. I can't wait to see it. And um, I hope you guys have a great day exploring. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.